what I learned as a teenager in this generation. So who am I? My name is Daniel. I'm a university student. I'm 19, so I really want to become really strong by like 22 or something like that. Uh, be one of those buff dad body type builds. Yeah, so I mean, fitness is a big part of my life as well. I am unemployed currently, and I'll be talking about that as well and how that impacts me as a teenager in this generation. School life. So what I've learned about being here at school and being in a university setting, I've been here for two years. I'm, a, I'm ending my sophomore year currently. And so I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about the people. I've learned about a lot about uh, how students um, act in class and how they treat their professors and how they think, really. I'm a commuter, so it's kind of hard to build friends as well. And I'll talk a little bit more about that um, in the next topic. But what I've learned currently is that students don't know where their future lies and they don't know their next steps. And it's kind of hard for them to really actualize what's going to happen when they don't live in the steps that they're taking so students don't know where they're going and is that okay me personally it is okay to an extent the extent being that you don't live in not knowing where you're going you don't pursue just being oblivious to your next steps i want to say that it, i know it's hard you know uh, me being a college student this is like the transitioning point with between people's lives they're turning into adults now they're having more responsibilities and it's a lot of pressure on people, you know. I mean, a lot of people my age, even if they're not in college, they're working or they're trying to provide for themselves or their families. And so it's really a, a time of growth and a time of transition. Is it okay for you to feel that you don't know where you're going? And I want to say yes, it is. I mean, a lot of us don't really know our purpose until later in life. And, and you might know it early in life. That's applause to you, man. I kind of am trying to really f figure out my purpose currently as well. And so I see that there is a there's a kind of blockage for me that I haven't really found a way out of and trying to find and pursue my purpose. But I know that I'll get there in the future. And I know that people and the students here will understand how to build themselves into a mindset of knowing where they're going. In addition, students' mental health is a very big problem. I see this not only myself sometimes, you know, I got a paper due the next day. I procrastinate a lot. That's the big thing about me is I procrastinate. Most people will say that's a bad thing. But I mean, when I'm in that procrastination mode, I get in like a flow state. So the, the typing becomes easier. The, the words that come into my mind become portrayed onto the text. And so it's really easier for me. But I mean, I know this kind of a bad thing because if I could have got it done the day before or a couple, not even the day before, a couple like days before, you know, then that would have been way easier on my mental health and allowed me to have more time and freedom to do something that day but yeah a lot of people a lot of students they they talk to me and, and and hearing them it just sounds like they're sad man it sounds like they don't know where they're going it sounds like they don't um believe that their life's going to be something and it's it sucks this is the point where we're learning or we're trying to learn something that we want to pursue we're trying to get a bachelor's for something that we want to you know we chose that bachelor so we gotta understand that we're doing something to build up for our future. A lot of people just, they, they get really stressed out and like, especially like nursing majors, I bet you guys have like a lot on your plate and it's really hard, but you guys are doing something very impactful as well. A lot of students mental health, I would say is on decline. And, and a lot of people really don't use the counseling services that the schools provide. And I've also learned that some students really aren't thinking about their future, not only in the aspect of not knowing where to go or not knowing where to pursue, but like thinking about families or thinking about the, their next internship. I, I get a lot of people, a lot of students, they like their college life. And I, I've heard that a lot. And I think I'm kind of different in that way. I like to really take time to study. And I like to go to even Panera Bread and just like type away on my laptop, either for the business or for schoolwork that I got I got due, or even trying to find a job currently. And I think that a lot of people, a lot of students, especially, they they like go out to party and they go out to like, these little things, these little events. And don't get me wrong, going to events is amazing, man. Like if I were to be invited to some events, you know, I would go. But but the thing is, I feel like a lot of people live in that space and that's kind of like their personality per se. And I don't think that's me. And I, I'm kind of an introvert myself. So I kind of might be biased, but I see a lot of people going out and either drinking, smoking, doing all that kind of stuff. And that just kind of isn't my thing, but I see that a lot in students at school. So relationships, I would say in relationships, I see a lot of people, um, going into relationships that aren't really beneficial to them. Some of my friends, they talk to me about some of the friendships that they've gotten into, but 
it really is more of like a diminishing friendship on their either spiritual health, uh, mental health, or even just in their life in general. Like, for example, you have this friend that's like talking down upon you this whole time and, and not really pushing you up and trying to have you pursue a higher a higher state than where you were in the beginning. That's not really a friend that's going to be impactful in your life in a good way, more of a in a demeaning way and in a negative way to try to drag you down with them and try to make you not realize your full potential. And I also see like a lot of the relationships that people go into are not are not higher relationships. So being that if you are below somebody or even if you're on the same level as somebody, you want to be you don't want to be with people lower than you. You don't want to be with people that aren't thinking as good as you or as positive as you because this can be detrimental to your life and this can be detrimental to your work your future and what you're trying to do you want to look for people that are higher above you so maybe somebody that has a big business that's going on and trying to pursue higher heights or somebody that is on the same level as you has a small business and they're trying to figure out ways on how to incorporate better um, efficiency within their workplace or or stuff like that learn new skills and you're trying to learn off of them or learn from them you don't want to be learning from people that are below you because then you'll just be setting yourself backwards. And that's not really a good thing to do in relationships. Going back to the student thing, students and people in general have a hard time connecting with each other and they have a hard time socializing. And me especially because I would say I'm an introvert and I kind of like it that way. You know, I don't like putting myself out there unless I'm kind of spoken to. I have a good uh, way of speaking, I would say. Other than that, it's kind of a hard thing for me to do to try to actually go out there and speak to people unless I'm spoken to. Like I said, a lot of the commuters as well have an especially hard time to try to communicate with others and try to build those relationships, those powerful relationships that are necessary in life. I mean, networking is something that's especially big in the entrepreneurial world, as well as in any way in general. I mean, people in your space, you want to be able to learn from them. You want to be able to speak about things that might be problems for you. And that's how people can offer solutions for you. And so I think socializing is a very big part not present within this generation. Last thing I want to go over society and I kind of want to play into a little bit about myself. I would like to say I have an entrepreneurial spirit and I like to really get out of my comfort zone with a lot of things. Learn new things is something that I especially strive for. I like going on like Coursera and stuff like that, learning new skills or new courses that I could take online, especially YouTube. I think YouTube is an amazing place for you to get information and try to learn and grow from. And especially a good way to find mentors online, you know? Mentors don't have to be people that you actually know, but people that you learn from and people that you're getting advice from and stuff like that. So I think that YouTube is especially a good way to learn things like that. But I think that a lot of people in our society aren't that way and they're not growth-minded. And that's something that I think is lacking in a lot of people that could really benefit them for the better. It would improve how they act, it would improve how they speak to others, communicate, um, show their emotions better. Um, and have control over basically their life. I really try to strive for being the best I can. I really want to learn as much as I can for my future and for this business because I'm always trying to learn how to either edit the right way or make the best social media content, make these slideshows that are actually intriguing that people will like and people will see outreach and try to find ways that I could get my content out more or find another outlet that I could present my information on because I really find it important that I spread these messages that I'm, I'm spreading in my videos. I like to say that a lot of people don't focus their time on reading. Reading is especially important when you're trying to expand your brain and expand on other people's ideas or even thoughts that you've had. Maybe you're questioning like this thing that you found in class or, or on the web. For me, it was stoicism and I was really intrigued by what the philosophy had to say about their way of life. And so I, I purchased a book on it and I read the book and it was very inspiring and very motivational for me. Really tuning into your thoughts and really um, advocating for more thoughts and leveling up your mind because when you let your thoughts go and let your thoughts leave, that thought isn't really present anymore and you could have missed out on some especially important information or life-changing information that otherwise wouldn't have been available for you if you didn't read and if you didn't really search or dive into those thoughts and I think it's important to actually recognize what you're thinking at that moment. So these are things that I've learned as a teenager in this generation around school, relationships, and society. Hopefully you guys found this informational and impactful for you to watch. And hopefully I was trying to keep my voice up and trying to really intrigue you with the information that I got going on. I'm trying to get better at editing, so I'll hopefully it's clean and crisp. 
that's basically it for me but yeah man if you have any questions for me leave them in the comments and i'll get back to you super quick it makes me feel happy that you guys are actually engaging with the video i appreciate you guys for watching and like i said again it's daniel from highs finish and we out